I want to take our viewers through a comment that's been made by the Defence Minister. पहले कितनी आतंकवादी वारदातें होती थीं, अब तो बहुत ये कहा जाए कि अब पहले के कंटेनर में बहुत ही नगड़ी हुई हैं और हमारी सिक्योरिटी फोर्सेस पूरी तरह से सजग हैं और ऐसी परिस्थितियां वहां पर पैदा होंगी कि फिर आतंकवादी वारदातें पूरी तरह से वहां से समाप्त होंगी और जम्मू कश्मीर का तेजी से डेवलपमेंट भी होगा मीर कंटिन्यूज टू बी विद मी मीर इफ यू कैन हियर मी यू वर टेलिंग अस अबाउट डिटेल्स ऑफ दिस मैसिव ऑपरेशन दैट्स अंडरवे इन खानियार जस्ट टू टेल अ व्यूअर्स अबाउट द एरिया एज सच how densely populated is it what is the main challenge that the security forces uh, are faced with right now please if you could throw some light on both those aspects well uh, as far as this area is concerned uh, or shrinagar in uh, overall uh, if you talk of the context uh, this is after a long time we seeing this kind of an encounter in shrinagar especially in the old city uh, khanyar in the old city uh, this place has been peaceful quite for quite some time now no resident militancy but it seems that uh, there was a movement of uh, this non local commander he was moving in and out of the area uh, there was no resident militancy but then he was coming in moving out of the district and this was something that was being tracked by the security agencies and by the police uh, this uh, as far as this area is concerned it's a very congested area there are houses uh, very closely knit to one another and this operation the location again it's a house right uh, in the middle of uh, at least three four houses which are very close to this particular house so uh, there could have been a collateral damage as well that's really the fear in such operations because if uh, you go all out then there is a chance that uh, the neighboring buildings could also catch fire they could be damaged so that could be the challenge now as you can see there are uh, uh, the, these uh, bulletproof vehicles of the crpf of the police now since it's shrinagar so army does not uh, operate in shrinagar okay. army does not really carry out operations in shrinagar it's only the police and the crpf da- who does it so that's why you have seen officers of the police including the ig uh, the ig of the crpf there are all really uh, in this location camping here and supervising this operation but significant for shrinagar because it's happening after a long time uh, last encounter probably happened a year back so it was peaceful uh, definitely it seems the intent was to stay here and probably carry out some big sensational strike but before they could do it they were stopped in their tracks by timely intel input and they have been cornered as i said this operation could still take some time because uh, this is not a rural setting usually in uh, uh, the villages where uh, houses are not very close to one another uh, ultimately the house in which militants are hiding is blown up but uh, that could be difficult here considering as i said there could be collateral damage so that's why they they may have to go slow uh, on as far as this operation is concerned but encounter and multiple operations uh, one in anantnag south kashmir where two militants have been killed this one and then uh, in panar bandipura where 14 rr camp was targeted some gunshots uh, fired towards the camp and since a counter operation search operation is going on so spurt in activity of the militants uh, from badgam to shrinagar to north kashmir to south kashmir definitely in the last at least 2 to 3 days we've seen uh, incidents happening one after the other while uh, some have been enforced by the security forces but definitely there is an intent as far as the militants are concerned to carry out attacks and uh, while they have managed to do in certain locations the security forces have had a upper hand as far as the, these two operations are concerned